My father immigrated from Haiti to the United States in the late 60s um, as a teenager. And I want to talk about these recent comments about the Haitians in Springfield, Ohio. First, I want to say my father and I are now estranged, but I did know him in my very, very young years. And um, when he immigrated, he was one person and they weren't sending, you know, thousands of Haitians in one area wasn't eating people's pets and he didn't practice voodoo but he did say that most of the island the majority of the island does practice voodoo the reason they eat cats is for two reasons number one is survival this is the poorest country in the western hemisphere you can't just go to a food bank like you can here or just go to mcdonald's and get some free or cheap food unless of course there's a christian missionary there People in the United States have a really hard time imagining that type of thing, but it is true. Second, they do do animal sacrifices for their religion, voodoo. They make these animal sacrifices to these gods for different reasons. You can do your own research on this. Do I think voodoo is a demonic religion? Yes, I do. That doesn't mean, obviously that doesn't mean that you hate these people. These people need prayer. But you can't just take over all these people from another country and expect it to work. Not to mention it doesn't fix the problems of that country. And there's more people left in Haiti that we can bring over. It's not racist to acknowledge that this is a problem. It's not racist to talk about these things that are happening. This is not just white Americans saying this is black Americans. You can look at the people in Springfield, Ohio saying that this is Y'all just want to joke about Trump and say that he's crazy for saying that this is happening instead of actually checking at all to see if this is happening. You want to make jokes about these things. Well, what if it were happening to you and your community? And no, it's beyond eating their pets, even though that is bad enough.